morning everyone i am in the back of my car here at thacker pass it is a stormy morning we had a lot of heavy rain strong wind coming through last night so just laying low the storm's supposed to blow over here pretty soon it's already started to die down uh, but i wanted to talk to people for just a couple moments here about recycling and it's really imp an important subject because whenever people bring up concerns with the destruction of the planet, uh, with extractive industries like mining, like lithium mining here at Thacker Pass, uh, one of the very common responses is, well, we need to recycle. And instead of doing so much extraction, we should just recycle the materials that we already have. And I want people to understand that when you actually look into the recycling industry, you find a lot of problems. So in my recent book, Bright Green Lies, um, we, me and my co-authors, have a whole chapter about recycling. And we say this is one of the bright green lies, that recycling will save the world. The problems are, <laughs> there are, there are a lot of them, and they're pretty serious with recycling. One is that a lot less recycling takes place than you actually think. Uh, for example, the pl of, of plastics, only about 10% of plastics are recycled. And that's not because of any, you know, any dis political decisions particularly. It's largely because 90% of plastics just can't be recycled. It's impossible. Uh, the, they're chemically unstable, and once they're used, they start to degrade. And so even... Uh, you know, many of the 10% the of plastics that are recycled, it's not actually recycling, it's called downcycling. And it's because when you melt the plastic, the used plastic bottles and so on, and you re-extrude them uh, into new, you know, polyester fibers or what have you, you actually degrade the chemical quality of uh, the plastic molecules. And so this process can't continue indefinitely. So right off the bat, uh, this is not, we have to understand, this is not going to save the planet. And in many ways, it, it's a primarily a cost reduction measure for industry. Where we do see high levels of recycling is largely in places where uh, extracting the raw material is very expensive, very energy intensive, and it's simply cheaper for the industry to recycle it than it is to extract more raw materials. For example, aluminum is a good example of that. Copper is another good example of that. Uh, both of those have relatively high recycling rates, but, and here's the second problem with recycling, we live in a growth economy. The use of plastics, the use of metals, other raw materials is skyrocketing around the planet. Skyrocketing. To the point where, if you're just talking about plastics, well over half of the plastic ever produced was made since the year 2000. Does that make sense to folks? Of all the plastic ever made, more than half of it, by a long shot, was created since the year 2000. And this is a substance that existed for, you know, 60 years, 70 years before that. So that's the growth system that we live in. We're seeing explosive growth in consumption, growth in population, and this is causing... <coughs> excuse me, this is causing, you know, this huge spike in consumption of raw materials. So the growth issue is a huge one. Because for example, with with lithium, lithium is a great example of this. People have been extracting lithium, the, the lithium industry has been, you know, uh, mostly through brine, getting lithium out of the out of the earth for a long time. But it's been in relatively small quantities. You know, it's been used in medicine, it started to be used in batteries in 1989, and now we're seeing it, you know, used more widely in cell phones and hybrid and electric vehicles as well as energy storage, right? But it started to grow quite a bit, but the amount of growth that's expected in the near future is massive. So even if you have 100% recycling of lithium right now, that will not be enough to meet the demand for lithium. Not even close. It might meet 
10% of the demand, right? So this is something that we need to understand is that recycling at best, at best, in the absolute best case scenario, is a very small harm reduction technique. It's not going to eliminate the harm and it's not going to put us into some sort of utopian world, right? And, you know, there are more technical aspects to this, like, you know, for example, when you're recycling a lot of metals, some percentage of the metal is lost, you know, in, in, the, in the waste product of the metal recycling, you know, either in the form of dust or, you know, it, it sort of vaporizes into dust, into particles and, you know, gets in whatever water they're using to process it and flows away, or it gets locked up in these really complex molecules with other, uh, with other materials and those, can, you know, are really stable and can't easily be processed. So they're just tossed on a waste heap somewhere, right? Um, so there are other issues with recycling as well, not least among them that the recycling industry itself is extremely toxic and extremely polluting, right? People need to research, if you want to really learn something about this, look up scrap metal recycling in the nearest big city to you. And chances are you will find one of the most hazardous locations in the entire city in terms of heavy metals in the soil, oil and gas, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, toxic substances, dioxins, you know, all kinds of uh, refrigerant gases leaking into the atmosphere. Uh, these scrap metal recycling facilities tend to be among, if not the most contaminated places in most cities. Right? And this is an essential part of the recycling industry. This is how it works. There are billions of dollars at stake with recycling. It's big business. It's an international global business. And they're doing it primarily for profit. That's the motivation. So, you know, with that said, there are some cases where legislation, any legislation laws that help, you know, curtail the power of industry, uh, reduce the amount of harm that's being done to the the planet. I support that stuff, right? I think we need harm reduction, but we can't forget that recycling is not a magic bullet, not even close. And when you're living in this sort of extractive economy that is literally destroying life on the only known planet in the universe that supports life, right? We're in a six mass extinction event, you know, more accurately, an extermination event. To Put your faith in recycling is very dangerous. It's very dangerous because it represents a fundamental misunderstanding of the problems that we face, how they work, and how we're going to get through them.